I want to talk about right now is a film directed by Robert um, Coney called The Killing, Killing of Two Lovers. And this film just came out a few weeks ago as well. And it is nominated at the Spirit Awards. and probably something I'm going to probably be voting for. But to keep your eyes out, make sure you subscribe here on Almost Sideways to have an, a video of myself and Todd talking about what we're voting for at the Spirit Awards. We're filming that on April, I believe, 3rd is what we decided on. So a week before the voting closes there. But anyway, The Killing of Two Lovers is a film um, with Clayne Crawford and um, Sabine. Betty um, Moffy. I, I know I mispronounced that name, and I do apologize about that. Uh, Clayne Crawford plays a character named David, and he actually, you may remember him from films um, like Swim Fan and a, a Walk to Remember, are probably two of the bigger films that he's been in. Our leading actress is actually her only her second film that she's ever been in. She was in a movie in 2017 called Quest as well. But anyway, this film is about a, a marriage that is on the rocks. Uh, the husband and wife, you know, Clayne and Sabid's character. Uh, David is uh, Clayne's character, and Nikki is uh, Sabid's character. So David and Nikki are a married couple that are having a tough time in their relationship. So they take decide to take a break from it, and but with a caveat that you can actually be able to uh, see other people. David is. Um, very uh, distraught to say the least. And he doesn't, he, uh, to our knowledge, he's not seeing anybody else, but his wife, Nikki is. And there is a conflict here, a personal struggle where they're trying to save their marriage. They're still going on, trying to go on date nights, but one of the party is seeing another person. So the conf there's a conflict there. The movie starts out with an, a literal almost bang. I can tell you that right, without trying to skip too much away put the pieces together maybe but it it's it starts off very shockingly because uh, i was not expecting the film to start exactly where it did and the first thing i immediately like recognized this film for doing is cooking you in with not just an intense moment but also some killer music what an amazing score this film has this movie does something so great and i wish this film would get recognized for best score because there's something about it that just hooked you got my heart pounding throughout the, these different moments that happen in this film you're not just dealing with this personal struggle with accepting that your wife is seeing somebody else and also uh the ability to work through your guys's problems to hopefully hopefully save your marriage but you're also dealing with kids and there's four kids here, uh, three boys and one daughter who's the oldest. And, you know, was a teenager, actually. So the three boys, you know, wanting to see their dad, they want to be there and see their dad. But also the daughter is a teenager and feels like the dad's not fighting enough, fighting strong enough. And, you know, having all their relationships being really at it at odds because they're they necessarily don't understand ex everything that's going on but they want their life back as normal uh, so there's a def definitely a, a sense of just conflict and there's so much uh ways that this guy is being pulled from and pulled towards and having to feel these different things as well as taking care of his father and living with his father and dealing with this emotional and emotional turmoil that he's going his own personal hell and the film definitely at, it moves at a quick pace, even for being a film that's only 80 minutes long. This movie is quick. This movie is fast, and this movie is intense. And it's one of the better, best movies I've seen of 2021. I haven't seen a ton. I've seen about maybe 15 to 20 ish. This one, I I don't want to say guarantees, but I I will guarantee that this movie will be mentioned on one of the best movies of 2021 for me. It, it's one of those movies that has made becoming a film independent member uh, totally worth it. Like you, I pay to be included in this group, and they sent you know I have some perks to go with it, but that initial initiation fee. Basically, I would have paid to watch this movie. Like that's it's kind of it's kind of weird to say that, and uh, but there was something about this movie. Damn, like such a small film, but such a big payoff. Like 
it's it's definitely one of those movies that I am want more people to watch. And unfortunately, I think it has less than a, a thousand votes on IMDb. So seek out the killing of two lovers, guys. Like try to find this movie if you can. And it's it's definitely a rewarding experience. And uh, one of those movies that I as I've, I originally gave it like three and a half stars. Like it's a high three and a half stars. Like if I watch this again, this is a four star movie. And I was just because the reason why I'm like, it's I, at the perfect point. I don't like to jump on board those four. I can always change it in a later, but it's a damn almost near perfect movie. Like it's it's freaking fantastic. And I really hope more people watch it because it's one of those ones that has so many good things going for it. And that's why indie films are so important because you can get some really cool emotional move uh, moments in it. And one of the favorite crazy things is is that when a movie can actually get me to like, just like cover my mouth or get me on my edge of my seat where I'm crossing my arms, like what's going to happen. I'm just like, my pal heart's palpitating. That's a great, that's great. You're invested into the movie, invested into the characters. And that's exactly what the killing of two lovers did. I want to see what more of this, uh, Robert McConey uh, is going to be doing in his future. He's done about nine films. Um, definitely nothing like super mainstream for sure. Uh, some of the highlights is God Bless This Child, which is about 91 minutes long. Uh, he co-directed that with someone. This came out in 2015. Uh, let's see another one here is When She Runs. was a 2018 movie. Also, uh, you know, did this uh, co-directed. And he also, in 2019, did a, a short film called The Miners. So some, some interesting little filmography there. You know, nine films. And they're all relatively short. I think the longest film I'm clicking through here. And it's about 91 minutes long. And like two of the films are about 70, 71, 77 minutes long. And then you uh, and you have The Killing Two Lovers sitting at 84 minutes long. So a lot of cool stuff here. And if you guys have seen The Killing of Two Lovers, let us know on Almost Sideways Twitter or on YouTube or whatever the case. Maybe wherever you're watching this, make sure you let us know.